Yo, what is up everyone? It's Jaith. Welcome back to another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing an informational video about dead side moving zones. I know a lot of people have made videos about dead side in general, but I've never really seen one about moving zones and how to take advantage of them. Um, I'm going to be doing videos like this, uh, going in depth about tons of things I've learned as a Fortnite pro. So make sure to drop a like and a sub if you're into this content and let's get right into it. So the first thing that we're going to be talking about is fifth zone or sixth zone um, when it reveals half and half. So this is called half and half zone because the circle here cuts this zone in half. So half of it will be in zone and half of it is out of the zone, forcing all the players to either immediately go into this small little area right here that I will mark. Um, or they can wait and as zone starts to close in, this side starts to expand and um, and eventually it just becomes you know this smaller circle right here. So the dead side of this zone, half zone, is going to be the side that is empty. Um, and that's important to note because um, it'll help you tell what um, what side is dead during first moving. So now that half zone is closed, I can go ahead and delete that circle. Um, you have this side, which is going to be jam-packed with players. I'm going to split this down the middle here. So this left side is going to be jam-packed with players because everyone who uh, didn't pad late will be forced to land there. And even the guys that did pad late might have to land early if they're getting beamed up the sky. So chances are they're going to land on this side. So that makes it pretty easy to tell what dead side will be in first moving. Um, so dead side will be this right side here because most players who maybe don't have a pad and just have to run first moving will be taking this path right there um, or maybe this path. And this side will be least congested because most of the players were on this half of zone. Um, so that's pretty easy to see. Um, so now that we have finished first moving and we get to here. Now, which side will be the dead side? This top side here or this bottom side there? So the answer is going to be the top side is actually gonna be the dead side this time. Um, and that is because whoever pulls zone coming from dead side here um, will have a quick rotate. And everyone who is right here, which is most players in the game, because they all came from this congested side, will be forced to take a direct, uh, direct path. And the problem that they run into is that these guys who pulled zone, they're going to have to move through their builds. But the smarter way to do it would be to build out more into zone and then across, and that would be the dead side rotate for second moving right here. Um, especially because first moving, you know, usually try to get center. So you might end up somewhere around here. Um, so anyone who is by my cursor here on this pin would have to go through old builds to get to next zone. Um, but the smarter play, like I said, would be going dead side, which is up top. I'm going to make this dead side again. Um, would be going dead side, you'd go up and over. And I'm gonna show some video examples of this. So now that we get to third zone, uh, I'm gonna draw like a square, I guess, to show where the most congestion will be. And it's going to be right there um, because that is where most of the players will be ending up um, coming from second zone. So that leaves uh, these guys kind of on, in a good spot up here. Um, and the dead side rotate after zone pulls south from here, if you guys get the hang of this by now, but the dead side rotate would be this right side where I will pin. I'll make another dead side marker. Um, and the reason is because all the congestion is in the rectangle, their closest path is going to be um, this left side of zone. That's going to be their closest and easiest path. Everyone behind them is going to be doing layers above them, below them, trying to get out of the way. Some will be forced to the middle because they're going to get cut off. So others will have to take a path like this. But the best way uh, to rotate this zone as somebody in the back or even in the middle would be going out as far as you can and then down all the way right side. Um, that would be the best way to rotate this zone because all the congestion will be on the left side. Um, and then going from 
Um, fourth moving to the final zone, it's going to be the same idea. Dead side would be bottom um, down here because all the players came from this side. They're going to end up on this left side for the most part. Um, but as you get later into the game, you know, there's a lot of other factors that play into it. So it's not it's not as important to think about, but it, it's definitely it's definitely good to think about. Um, during first moving, second moving, and third moving is where I think dead side really comes into play. Like you can notice the difference and you can notice it by like how many mats you save. Um, but if you guys would like me to go over it, I'm going to do it anyway. This is where the most congestion would be. Um, as soon as it pulls because everyone is just trying to make a hard left to get in front now to the middle and down to the dead side um, so this is how dead side zones work you can kind of make this little graph or diagram i guess yourself and you know quiz yourself on it or if you're just playing scrims just it's something to think about and the more times you think about it the better you'll get at it the quicker you'll get at it um, so let me show you guys some videos of how I've taken advantage of dead side in the past. So I'm going to be using a video from my semifinals of FN of last FNCS week three. I played with POSIC and specs and we did a really good job rotating dead side and finding low ground, um, pretty much all the time. So if you look at the zone right now, we're about in the middle, um, and we're trying to find a layer here. Now there's 20 seconds till zone pops. So I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, a little bit, but you can see where we're coming from and you can see where the zone is. Now listen to my comms. So I know that zone came from around where pink was, right? It came from the airdrop. So the dead side uh, for the zone that is about to pop. I'm saying get ready for pull. I want to take low ground. Zone pulls back this way, right? So everybody came from my cursor and the airdrop, which means the most contested area is going to be the right side of the line on my screen. So what do I do? I make a plays back. So it plays back, but what I do is I go okay. out I saw 500 wood. and then I can go down this way. So you see how dead this side is. There's nobody okay. here. And I'm, I'm able oh to just free tarp this, just like that. Now for this next example, I'm gonna use the same video, um, but this one, it's not as easy to understand um, because of how good of a job that I do to get us like out into zone. And I'm gonna make another video on that. Um, but right here, you can tell that zone comes from the south side. It's still filling up. Um, so that's what I know in my head is that it came from this, this south side. So now I'm just going to stare at the clock uh, for, six seconds, uh, for six seconds. And I'm going to see where it plays. So now that it plays to the left, if zone came from the south, then the dead side is going to be this top or north side. Um, so all I need to do is go forward and then hook a left. And I should have a clear path. Uh, let's see what happens. And yeah, clear path. Another good example uh, during the same video um, is this zone right here. So you can see that zone came from the airdrop in the top right. So we're about center. Um, and now let's look where zone plays in nine seconds. And as the IGL and the tarper, I'm always staring at the clock. I'm ready to go. So now zone is going to pop. And you can notice, even on the map, what dead side is. Uh, dead side is going to be this open area on the right. If we all came from the airdrop, then dead side going to this zone is going to be the right side by my cursor. And I know that. Um, so, like, I'm saying go right side, go right side. I just get past this one team, and now I have this free rotate. Now we have this whole right side to ourselves. You see how there's nobody over here? I didn't even have to block my right side because I know that this entire side is dead. Um, so that's why it's important to think about these things, the IG on the tarper. Um, and I hope that these were some good examples. That's why it's important to think about these things as the tarper and the IGL. You make the clearest path for your team, you save less mats, and obviously you just won't run into any old builds and, and die. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. It, hopefully I was able to explain dead side in moving zones uh, well enough for you guys. Make sure to leave a like and a sub um, if you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.